in this video I will show you how to create a Windows service and also I want to run it and debug it so let's open the Visual Studio I have a, a free version of Visual Studio 2022 and let's create a new project set Windows service So as you see Windows Service.net framework. So click on it. I'll create a simple example. It's hello world. So let's call it hello world. Alright. As you can see the location you, uh, of the project it's on the source repos. You can change it and place it anywhere. This is the solution name, hello world and you can place uh, check this one uh, place a solution and project in the same directory we are using framework 4.7.2 all right create now if we look here this is a solution hello world and we have a project called hello world if we go further to the structure let's see the structure of the service we have program.cs and the service here Let's just need to open the service. As you can see, we have the constructor here, the on start. There is also on stop, and there is components, dispose, and initialize. I'll make it as simple as possible. So simply, I'll uh, use only on start with a simple example. Uh, but before that, uh, one of the things probably you need to do is to change the name of the service the default name is service one and you can change it by renaming and we can call it again hello world and it will give you a message click yes another thing you need to change is if you see in components you have a service name uh, call service one you need to change it into world all right so you can rebuild or build and everything looks fine okay now we need to define the installer so right click and you select view design in the view design you right click and you add an installer as you can see you have a service installer and you have process installer you need to do a few changes in the service installer so click on the service installer and you need to go to see you need to see the properties let me just make the screen looks yeah okay so this is a service installer first thing you need to do is you need to define the description you can call it hello world and this the description will appear on the service screen when you run the service display name same thing you can call it whatever you want but usually it should be related to the service uh, you are creating hello okay here we have the service name uh, start type uh, usually it's manual uh, by default it's manual but you can change it into automatic or you can disable it whatever right now let's keep it as manual next we click on service uh, process installer we keep everything the same except the account we make it local system this allows the service to to run without have without having any problem regarding the authentication so now it's complete now let's write a simple program regarding hello world we go on start and Okay, let's type using 
and we need to we can use stream writer all right uh, it's called write a text or write text equal new stream writer and here we need to define the file so we can have C drive we can create a folder let's call it uh, temp temp folder and we can define let's say let's call it output dot txt okay you just make it like this so using stream uh, writer uh, write text a uh, new stream writer and this is the uh, a path of the file where I'm going to write let me see if I need to probably need to import the reference so using system.io this will work now we need to write and do text dot write line and we can see here we can write okay so this is a simple uh, service it's just a service that write one line of a hello world let's rebuild it and see how it's gonna work okay now if we try to run it we go to debug and start without debugging we will get uh, that we cannot start the service from command line or debugger windows service must first installed so we need to install it in order to install it we need to use install util and i'll show you how to do that first of all i need to show you where is the install util is defined you need to go to windows then microsoft.net framework and you go to the framework 4.0.3 this is the newest one or updated uh, latest one and you can see the install util it's gonna be somewhere here so this is the one so let's install the service First of all, before I install it, let me open the service and you, as you can see that the service is not available here. The hello world service is not available. This is the edge. As you can see, we have health key and we have a human interface, so it's not available. After installing it, you will see it in the service uh, uh, screen. So I need to go to the command prompt and cd I need to go to the path the folder where the install util is available util next I need to go to the folder where the service has been uh, built so I need to go to C drive users administrator and uh, we have source and this is where the project has been created hello world so this is the one then I go to Ben debug as you can see this is the application this is the service so let's define the location and paste it here then hello world 
to txt. So now if I let me just make the screen white. So now as you can see that I'm using install hotel dot exe and then I'm installing the service. Enter. So see you can notice that there is some process here has been done and you may have to make sure that the install phase completed successfully and as you can see that the commit phase has been successfully alright so this is done but before we run the service since we define a, a folder I need to create a folder called temp in the C drive this is where the service will be will will uh, 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 define the file. Okay, as you can see, you have temp, so it's not case sensitive. So the output of txt. Let's me now now run the service. If we refresh, the, as you can see, it's not available right now. But if I refresh the service, let's see, I have hello world, and it's manual. So let me, as you can see, this is also the description. This is where we define the description. You can do, you can describe it in any way you want. So let me click on properties. As you can see, this is the manual where you can make it automatic or in any in any type you want. So let me start the service. The service has started me open the temp folder and see if we have an output as you can see this is hello world this has been created all right this is simple all right so let's let's do the debugging we just close the service stop it let's do a kind of debugging in order to make a debugging, you need to write a, a line in the on start uh, function. The line called system dot diagnostic dot debugger dot launch. So the, the way we debug the service, the Windows service is as follows. We go to the Windows service. Let me just, before before I do the debugging, let me just build it. So build. Okay. Now we go to the service, right click properties and in the start parameters we put dash d which means debugging and then we click start okay so it will tell you a new instant of visual studio community click ok now it will open a new instance of visual studio as you can see now here we, we have the cursor stops on this uh, line now you can check whatever you want you can use a debug and you can step into see or you can put a, a debugging point toggle point so press continue and by this way you can test or debug the service so now it's running and if we open the folder we'll see that we have the temp where is the temp and this is the output as you can see it's hello world because we didn't have an append it keeps 
uh, writing it in the new line. So let's stop the service. Let's try to improve the, the, the service. And instead of writing a line, we need to see if we can append. So let's type by. So type file dot append text. Let me check if it's working. Okay. Also, let's do a continuous loop. So while true and but this is within the while loop and we can put the diagnostic at the top. Okay. Dot uh, thread dot sleep and let's do it every five seconds. So here's our service. We have a continuous loop and we are writing hello world every five seconds. This should need to be inside the while loop. Okay, so and now something like that. Now the service is ready. So now we have a continuous loop with hello world, and every time it appends the text within the file output.txt at temp folder, and every five seconds he's going to type hello world. All right, so succeed now. Let's run the service. Start. Now the service is starting. If we go to the output, click on output, you'll see that it's running. And every five seconds, supposed to produce a hello world. Okay, so this is for today. Thank you very much.